Good morning, California Seismograph friends. As we were just enjoying a very nice, quiet morning here in Southern California, not long, around 2.24 this morning, just got shook up. As you can see, this is an earthquake that happened close to actually Ritzcrest, where we experienced in 2019 the 7.1 earthquake. But this quake of 4.3, it's called the Torona quake. As a matter of fact, is an aftershock of that 7.1 earthquake. As you can tell, our graph is picking this up nicely. This quake was picked up by all the uh, raspberry shakes here. The interesting thing about this quake is that the Temescal Valley and Central California actually picked this up a, a bit earlier than our orange here did. So San Francisco now showing this too. As you can tell, this graph came out pretty nice. The needle followed that very precisely as a matter of fact 4.3 earthquake is it is an aftershock of the 7.1 earthquake that occurred in 2019 uh, july 5th let's go here to our uh, quake Torona 4.3 as you can tell here it is as a matter of fact right by ritzcrest so this is definitely within that fault zone where we had the rupture break all the way across here if you remember we have a picture of there we go here's that fault zone there's the fault as you can tell, and it ruptured for uh, a total of uh, the the maximum slip actually horizontal slip was 4.2 meters, give or take about a half a meter, and it was uh, a vertical separation of 3.7 meters. That's quite large, but it was a large earthquake, 7.1. And so our quake today was, as a matter of fact, right around here, and is indeed within that rupture zone. And this is an aftershock of our 7.1 earthquake back on July 5th, 2019. And it's good that it is. Okay, 8 kilometers depth. And today's quake shows to be at 3.1 kilometers. So a little less deep. Okay, and with that said, let's go and look at our second quake that happened while I was recording this. And that quake happened here. Our second quake is in southern peru and that quake was picked up very nicely as a matter of fact by our e-graph in missouri there's a spider here in the <laughs> okay here is the uh, earthquake that happened in peru that was picked up by our e-graph that is stationed in uh, high ridge missouri and the e-graph is just a fantastic machine which works uh, and it was developed here uh, created at california seismograph and this e-graph the uh, positive things of it is it has a far less drag on the needle versus the needle of the ink and paper drum here in Garden Grove and as you can see this uh, needle really smoothly draws out very nicely the earthquake happening in Peru this is uh, at local time there 7 12 a.m. in the morning as a matter of fact the raspberry shakes here on the bottom you can see them all picking up the raspberry shakes here on the left, all here in Missouri located those, by the way, are local raspberries. They're all showing that too. That quake clearly it certainly isn't done yet. It's a large quake. It's a 7.0, like the Ritzcrest quake, just about, in the 7s. And this quake clearly has a very quick start, tapers off, and then picks up again, as you can tell. And this is a uh, part of the sequence of the, um, what you see is actually the P wave and then the, uh, or the surface wave, no, the S wave coming after this. This is part of the S wave. And then it will taper off and you'll see it slow down to a, just about nothing for a while because the surface waves take a while before they arrive in Missouri, which do too, and will be far less in amplitude, as you can see in a minute here. Needle stops moving on this S wave. Will this go forward? But if we continue on our time trail down here, just a little bit further, we'll see the surface waves coming up right now. And this is the actual movement of the needle in lifetime. And see how much slower the needle moves on the S wave. Look at that beautiful graph being drawn by the S waves now coming through across the Earth's surface all the way to Missouri, High Ridge, Missouri. And we'll pick up on the map the Milets for you so you can see 
why actually that takes longer because surface waves they travel far slower than p waves and s waves do and so this is the graph of the surface wave being drawn within uh just a nice framework of seeing the tail end here let me show it with my this is the tail end of the s waves it quiets down that needle totally and then it starts picking up here again which is the beginning of the surface and now tailing off here far smar smaller as you can tell in amplitude just a beautiful graph drawn by our e-graph just such a fantastic machine the e-graph okay and with that said let's as i told you we're looking at the uh, map here real quick we're going to uh zoom out and pick up the earthquake here in southern globe wise we got to pick this up here southern peru right there is the earthquake there it is 7.1 right here all the way on the edge in southern peru going back to the map here southern peru pick it up sorry right there on the very end there measure the distance from here to missouri so we're looking at a good 3,900 miles, almost 4,000 miles away from our location at the uh, High Ridge, Missouri e-graph. 4,000 miles away, and yet such a beautiful graph over all that distance. Love to show this to you guys today. I'm glad you're with us. Our uh, graph, let's go live here. We're now at uh, 6 uh, o'clock, just past 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning. And it's uh, a beautiful Thursday morning here in Southern California. We're glad you are with us today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please so do. Hit that like button, uh, the little thumbs up, and the bell so you can get notifications from us. Have a fantastic Thursday morning and a great weekend coming up. We uh, love having you here, guys. Be safe, and we'll talk to you soon again. God bless.